So last week I posted a picture saying that I want to run these uh, at full peak power, but without getting them hot, right? And so in order to do that, I said that I'm going to use some like copper piping so that I can run some liquid cooling through them. And of course, all of you guys said, ah, oh, that's stupid. That's never going to work. So I'm going to prove you all wrong, maybe, right now. We're going to build this and we're going to test it and see if we can actually lower the temperature while running these at full throttle. Let's do it, Ron. What do you say? Let's do it. So first things first, we gotta go to the store and we gotta buy okay. some fittings because I don't have the fittings to connect these pipes in here to, uh, this is our radiator. There. How do you go from the copper pipe to the radiator? With the right fittings. Okay. We're gonna go buy those right now. Home Depot run. Should we go on the skateboards? Nah, nah, it's too long, it's too far. Okay, it's 100 degrees today. Yeah, no, oh my god. 100 degrees out in California today. Yeah. What's wrong with you, bro? I don't know. I, I, anti roots. Okay, so wait, so you got these two? Is it on? Yeah. Okay. And then and this then one goes on the pipe. Yeah. This one goes on the pipe. All the threads are the same. How do you know? How many people does it take to figure out? <laughs> I didn't know. And we're going to solder this on? We're going to solder it, you yeah. Got a torch? Yep. Got a torch. I need an extra one of these guys. So, okay, so this, and then where's the pipe? There's a pipe, the pipe that we're using. That's it, cool. this is the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, cool. Right. we got it today. Success. All right, we're back. We bought all our goodies. We bought the hose, the fittings, all this nonsense. Now let's get it to work. Let's put it together. We're gonna uh, solder this thing. So you gotta take the oxidation off. It's like this mucusy, like paste thing. All right, time to start this thing. Where's your safety glasses? Oh, I don't got no safety glasses. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're gonna heat it up. before no not really <laughs> there we go these guys kind of throw away batteries you know, they're like Chinese stuff mm -hmm. so the easy the easiest way is to like put it under water the one that's sucking in oh right and then like let it just roll oh, and then yeah, all the yeah, thing yeah. and then you just connect it underneath so but put it in a pot whatever it's got water oh yeah okay Okay. It's okay. enough. Okay. Although there's a lot of air, look at that. That's and it's saying. all right here. All right, what happened? <laughs> so it's leaking. So one of these things here, not the, the really bad ones, or was it? No, it is, no? Wasn't this one the one where we were? So where's it leaking from? Right here. And you can't even tell, like. How do you know? You put pressure in it and then. Because you... you just flip it around and there it is. Uh... Nice. All right, so what's happening? We're gonna start, we're gonna let this uh, run at uh, hopefully 100%. So okay, peak. all right. All right, a thousand watt inverter. We're gonna pull a thousand watts off of these batteries here. Okay. Lithium batteries, we're gonna shove that right into our uh, grid. Really? Yeah, it's going right into the grid. It's gonna power the house. It's gonna power the AC that is running the Come house. Come on. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just like that. You don't set up your own little load or something? Like run an air conditioner or something? But you put it into the house? Yeah, it's just the house wiring. That's wow. where that's where everything okay. is going, right? Is it gonna be higher than 120 so it pushes in? Slightly higher, yeah. Like oh. one or two volts, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. all you need? That's all you need. Wow. 
enough to push a uh, thousand watts. Wow. And essentially, eventually I want to do six of them. But right now we're going to test if we can cool this one down, you know. Yeah, because we're trying to use this. Use a, a fancy uh, water system. So let's let's let this cook, start okay. up. All right. Right. Okay. So it's starting. This is the amount of power that is pushing right now. So not nothing. Okay. Oh, it's getting warm over here. It's getting warm on that side. You know, there. I looked inside. They they mount everything to the side walls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there we go, it's pushing 930 watts. Uh, it's doing a thousand, over a thousand watts on the, on the DC side. All right, so let's see here. Oh wow. It's hot, right? Yeah, like right here, it's fucking hot. Like you can't keep your hand there. Woo! All right? That's hot. That's hot. It's hot here. Okay. Let's shut it off. Okay. Let's install our thing here. This is this is a thermal tape. Thermal tape? Yeah, this is thermal tape. Okay, what does that do? So this is double-sided tape that mm -hmm. transfers heat. Oh. Right? Okay. What does it feel like? Just feels like tape. It feels like tape. Woo, that is hot. Yeah. 130 degrees Did on you your turn hand. turn it off? Yeah, it's off. Okay. 130 degrees on your hand doesn't feel very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So the magic of this whole thing is going to be this paste here. Trasic non-hardening heat transfer compound. Are you authorized to use this? Well, uh, yeah, my, my mom said it was okay. <laughs> Do you like This a, is your plan? Pack. The schmoo? The schmoo. Just schmoo. Yeah, man. It's just... Uh, You're like, all right, I'm going to put some schmoo on here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Should I? Or should I just yeah, like, try side. it like this and then... I guess. There's not that much surface area connecting, though. All right, whatever. Who knows? Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, there we go. All right, so the schmoo is in place. <laughs> should I touch it with the finger so it's nice and smooth, or should I? No. No. Perfect. Looks like Perfect. cake decoration. Oh, they're all working now. Ah! It just had to dry out. There we go. Okay, you guys see this? Look at that, it looks, it looks black over here because the pipe looks black because it's cool. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> That's awesome, let so me let's see. see. All right, so let me, I'm gonna start the thing. Yo. All right, Ron, so that was our test there. Think what do you think, was, success or failure? I think it was success because at one point, the when you first started out, it was pushing out like a 1,000 watts, mm -hmm. okay? And it slowly diminished because of the batteries, slowly diminishing. Yeah. Got down to like 800 watts yeah. or, or 850 or something like that. Yeah. But the heat was uh, – went – first went to one, uh, 130 in that corner. Mm -hmm. But then when you turn on the system, it went down to uh, 120, 118. 118. 118. 118, 118 yeah. But then someone could argue, oh, well, the system's going down. But then 
you turned it off and it went back up to 124. So the fact that the whole system was going down and then the and then the heat went back up when you turned off the water, even though it was small, to me that's a win. That's a win. I just think the placement. Yeah, of where it, you could, it. It could it could do better. We could do better with the placement yeah. of those pipes. To me, it was a failure. Yeah, what do you mostly think? Mostly, because yeah, why do you think it's a failure? Because it wasn't a drastic difference in, in. It was only a couple degrees. Well, it was uh, it was ten degrees. It was eleven degrees. Yeah, right? From, initially. Yeah, initially it was eleven degrees, yeah. and then when we turned it off, then it went up four. But then, the, yeah, again, it was it was it was then pushing the same amount of power. So, so why is that a failure if it was ten degrees? Because I thought it was going to be a much more drastic difference. Okay. Right? That it was gonna warn, like be like clearly this works. But yeah. now I'm like I don't even know if it's worth going through all the trouble that all that pipes the so the soldering the pipes you know you saw yeah it's it's, it's you don't time. know what you're doing you know you're gonna all oh, they're gonna just but if you don't do this every stuff. day then yeah yeah you had two leaks we had two leaks and then we tried and that's just on four and pipes then you had a, you had to dunk the whole thing in the swimming pool so you could <laughs> so you could make the connector <laughs> yes. with and we still had a little <laughs> bubble of water going throughout the pipe. Yeah, so okay. I think definitely uh, in those levels of cooling, I'd say, you know, I gotta have to agree with all of you guys that say, yeah, just put a fan. All right. Because I'm like, uh, yeah. well, yeah, you can put a fan, but it's not the same. This one's going to cool it a lot more. Yeah. And that turned out not to be the case. At least not in this, you know, maybe there, there's so, I have a bunch of ideas how to do it to do it right, but a lot of them are hard that people wouldn't be able to do them. And I'm trying to do like some simple that all of you guys can go and do. Every all of you guys can go to Home Depot, buy pipe and buy a little cutter and you know do the thing. And, yeah. You know, solder them and stuff. That's easy. Yeah. But if it's not a compelling, uh, you know, result. It's only a couple degrees. Yeah. But but it's I still not worth but the trouble. okay, the the placement though. But you're right though. Maybe if if this is an argument to see if it's worth it, there was a dramatic difference. Just yeah. doing it real simple. Yeah. There was not a dramatic. It wasn't difference. a dramatic change. So as of, as of that then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a system without the cooling the cooling the liquid cooling s system right. And then I'm just gonna put a couple fans in there to go blow air right over the the things. Yeah. And if that's it's sufficient, then we got it. We don't need to over uh, engineer some liquid cooling system, right? Right. But if, if that doesn't work, if that's not enough and the, the, the things keep like overheating and like burning up or whatever, then maybe there's, you know, there's warranty to like, and warrants for like a liquid cooling or a more Yeah, so like, uh, like it did, nothing died on you yet. No. So if the, if the inverter, you know, uh, quit, yeah. Then yeah, then it's time to reevaluate. Even if you had fans yeah. on it or whatever. Then but the thing is, they do throttle. Like I know I had some in the, in the outside, and sometimes in the evening the sun hits them. Mm. So not only are they hot because they're pushing much power. Yeah. Right. But now they have the sun, you know, shining on them. So now, so then when I go in there, sometimes they're like not pushing power. Because mm. they go into thermal, like, cutback oh, or something, right? okay, I didn't know that. So if that happens with just the fan, then, you know, like, oh, we got to cool it more. Down. Right. So there's there's levels. Yeah. Right? And right now, maybe I'm, 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 I'm with you guys. Maybe it's not. We're okay. not. We're not ready to spend all that time doing some liquid cooling. So, this what, so there's two different things. You're trying to figure out whether this is worth it, and then you're yeah. also trying to figure out whether it works. Yeah. But it does work. It works. It does work. But I mean, whether it's worth it... Yeah. That's your judgment call because yeah. uh, that's a different for the thing. system design. Yeah, yeah. for this. But, but as far as like, does it work? Yeah, it, it totally. Work. But not very much the way we had it set up. Yeah. Okay. We would have to do some other stuff that would be a little bit more difficult. Right. Right. Or it would take a little bit more work to to increase yeah. that the level of effect. Yeah, you'd have to. You know. Yeah, the fabrication part would have to be a little more complicated. The way you place the pipe in the core. It seems to be that there's these... Actually, we should show them the inside. Yeah, so there's a group of these MOSFETs that get hot, and the other ones don't seem to get as hot. Like there's They're on the sidewall. Yeah, this yeah. sidewall right here, and it like there just seems to be a hot spot there. And so mm -hmm. those seem to be the hottest ones. So those are the ones that you would want to cool first, you know, mm -hmm. and then the other one second or whatever. Um... So anyways, it was just a test, a uh, quick test. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, Ron here is also a fellow YouTuber. Go check out his YouTube channel. What's it called? 
Uh, Ron Grossinger. There you go. I or like Mr. G's Workshop on Instagram. But you, this is where you find um, high school electric car projects. Uh, I'm a high school teacher, so it's a lot of like metal shop welding, uh, stuff like that. A lot of lot of lot of stuff that you know we build. A lot of experimenting. Yeah, experiments. There you go. That's what we're doing today. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for helping me with my experiment. Oh, no problem. That was fun. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you later. Ha 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 ha.